Hey, church family, friends, here we are. I just want to bring um, th this week together about how uh, God wants us to choose to follow him. And here's what we've seen in Jonah. Jonah is this guy, he's a prophet, right? So he he's, has a, a fellowship with the Lord. He would, in our context, he'd be like a Christian. And this guy who's a Christian, um, first, first he learns um, from God that uh, because God loves lost people, God's going to interrupt your life. And God interrupts our life because God really loves and cares about lost people. And if that's the case, we should too. And that's the second thing we learned from Jonah is we should, we should have a heart for those lost people like God does, even though their sin stinks and it's really, really bad. We shouldn't walk away. Um, the third thing we learn is that whenever God tells us to go to those really stinky sinners, we can choose to go the other way. Um, God can tell you and me something and we can choose to do the other thing. The, the big thing I want you to know or see today is all of this choosing to disobey God caused a lot of pain in Jonah's life. Uh, my, my admonition is for you and I to choose to follow Jesus today. Decide to follow Jesus. And in and, and, and two parts, really. First, um, if you're listening and you really just don't know you have, if you have a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, today is the day of salvation. Today is the day when you can decide to call out to God and say, God, look, I know that I'm not perfect, that I've sinned, that I've fallen short. I understand that Jesus died on the cross for me. I know he's coming back to judge both living and dead. And today, Father, I trust Jesus as my Lord and Savior. Um, and, and if you've never done that, today's the day of salvation. If you have, that means you're a believer. And if you're a believer, here's my, my just admonition. Decide to follow Jesus no matter where he leads you. Go and do what God has for you to do.